For years, elite cyclists have used power data as the most reliable way to measure the actual exercise load of their rides. Now runners can train with power too. Garmin Labs has developed a running power app you can use to quantify your exercise load and inform your training. If you already own the right Garmin devices, adding power to your run is free. All you need is a compatible Garmin watch and one of these three accessories, the Running Dynamics Pod, or the HRM Run, or HRM Tri Heart Rate Strap. Then visit the Garmin Connect IQ store and download the Running Power app. Once you've downloaded the app to your watch, you can add running power as a data screen. To do that, access the Run Settings menu and select Data Screens. Then, hit the Up key to add a new data screen. Press the Enter key, then select Custom Data. Select the layout you want and which field you'd like to edit. Select Connect IQ Fields. Then choose Running Power. Like any other data field, running power can be displayed on a data screen with only one field or on a screen with up to three other data fields of your choice. Also, like other metrics, you can analyze your running power post-run on Garmin Connect or Garmin Connect Mobile. There you'll find summary statistics, splits, and even graphs. If you want, you can configure your Running Power app settings through the Garmin Connect mobile app on your smartphone. Select More, then Garmin Devices. Then select your watch. Tap Activities and App Management, Data Fields, and the Running Power app. From there, you can adjust the app settings, such as whether you want the app to account for wind. This feature uses reported local weather, combined with sensor data on the watch, to determine the local wind conditions. Combined with heading information from GPS, the watch determines if there is a headwind, tailwind, or neither, and accounts for that appropriately when determining your running power. When you're ready to go for a run, make sure that your watch has been within range of your paired smartphone within the last hour. This allows the app to reference the most recent weather conditions in your area. You do not need to run with your smartphone. If you are running in a sheltered area and you do not want the Running Power app to account for wind conditions, simply turn off this setting in Garmin Connect Mobile. Note that this is not necessary if you are running indoors because the app will automatically disregard wind conditions for indoor running, like on a treadmill. Within the app settings, you can also set up high and low alerts to help you keep your power within a target range. Note that running power must be displayed as a single data field on one of your data screens for this feature to work, and the high-low banners will only appear on that screen. If you prefer to train with zones, you can configure power zones within the app settings as well. As with alerts, running power must be displayed as a single data field on one of your data screens for the zones to be displayed. Some runners also like to see average running power information as they run. To do this, go to the Connect IQ store and download one of these related apps. Lap running power, last lap running power, or average running. Or you can download the Combo Running Power app that displays all four views of running power at the same time on a single data screen. Regardless of how you choose to view it, running power is computed using metrics such as pace, vertical oscillation, grade, and more to give you real-time information about the amount of power you're applying at the ground as you run. When you know how much power you're expending from minute to minute and mile to mile, you're better able to pace yourself, which can help keep you from tiring out too quickly.